traversing a graph has various options. First of all, we need to understand how the traversal works. So normally we start from a single node and from a single node it may be that we, we have a couple of nodes that are unreachable from that particular node because the graph may not be connected. We should also ignore cycles. That means we have to ignore already visited nodes. And when we traverse this uh, graph, we may want to count the number of edges, which is the distance between the nodes that we move along. There are two popular, very popular traversal strategies. One is the depth first search or DFS and the second is the breadth first search. The idea is that the depth first search tries to explore as far as possible along a path and then backtrack. This is similar in a tree to pre-order execution. And then the, the breadth first search explores all nodes that have a distance of one to our starting node, then distance two and so on. That's similar to it in a tree to traverse by the level or the depth of the tree. So we try to traverse the depth one, then depth two, depth three and so on. Regardless, both algorithms have a runtime complexity of O of the number of elements in B plus the number of elements in terms of edges. So it's the number of vertices and the number of edges. So if it's a fully connected graph, we know that the number of edges will be V square. So the complexity here will be V square. We have to potentially basically visit each edge and node during the traversal. 